Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and I'm a third grade teacher in the state of Ohio. I've been a teacher for six years and I really do my best to try to have conversations with students to help them better understand the world around them. And one of the ways that I've done that for COVID is to help them understand why we wear masks. My school decided to go back to be in person and I was very um, apprehensive of going back to school because of how students might interpret wearing a mask or feeling about wearing a mask after coming off of summer where they might not have had to wear a mask um, really at all outside but like inside of stores or anything like that too. So I was talking about it with my friend Greg and we came up with um, this demonstration to help my students understand why we wear masks inside and why we wear masks, especially when we can't socially distance ourselves. I think it's really important to have students not only listen to this, but also to see it. And I will say that my students are doing like a super duper good job with wearing masks and keeping them on their faces and not complaining about them and just knowing that because we're in school, like this is now an expectation that we have. And I think that it's so important that students really understand what a mask is doing. So on the first day of school, I opened up a conversation about, you would guess it, why we're wearing masks. And one of the reasons that came up, besides all of the other reasons, obviously was COVID. And we talked about what COVID is, how it's um, a sickness that can affect really anyone, but also that it's something that we want to protect our bodies from. And we talked about our noses and our mouths being pathways into our body directly to like major organs like our lungs and our stomachs. And so we just, I just wanted to make sure that students really understood the importance of wearing a mask inside of a school and why we are doing this inside of school in order to come to school. And so what we decided, um, Greg and I, what we decided is that we are explaining what aerosol, I should explain what aerosols are, and also um, that for students to understand that aerosols might not be something that they can see with their eyes. They might feel it when they sneeze into their elbow. They might feel them when they cough into their hands. But ultimately, like, I think that students need a visual understanding at times. Like I said, I teach third grade, so I have eight and nine year olds. And so the more that they can apply by seeing something happen, the better. So I have a spray bottle here and um, in it is just some Dawn dish soap and water. Um, I thought that the dish soap would to show up a little bit better on a video. And um, in class, I just used the same type of spray bottle. It just had water in it against a construction piece of paper. But today I'm going to be using this cardboard with an awesome drawing on it um, and a disposable mask that I've already used. I'm not wasting um, a new mask on this, but I have used this and I'm going to show you. So we again talked to my students about wearing a mask, how our nose and our mouth go directly into our bodies to important organs that help keep us healthy and safe. And um, this is what I did. So after we talked about those things, I put the mask on the piece of paper like this covering the nose and the mouth completely because we do wear masks from the top of our nose to the bottom of our chin. And I just took my spray bottle and I sprayed around the mask. So let me, I have to get it tight obviously. So I sprayed around the mask. So I sprayed on the top and I sprayed on the bottom and right in the middle. You can see my hands are wet because I sprayed in the middle. And then when I took off the mask, it showed the students that their nose and their mouths are protected by the mask. And um, I think that this just kind of helped them. There are times where I'm sure that they were outside playing and they like didn't wear a mask because they were outside and didn't have to socially distance. Um, but the more I can help students understand why we do something, the more likely they are to say like, oh yeah, I should be wearing a mask because I'm inside. So I'm going to show you one more time. Um, it's like not a huge like concept that's really hard to explain, but I think that the visual aid really, really helped my students. So again, I'm going to spray the mask above, on, and below. And then when I take off my mask, 
my mouth and my nose are protected. So if you need a demonstration to show your students to have an open conversation about why we wear masks and how to keep ourselves protected, please feel free to use this demonstration. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye.